Mr. Jones. But first, two more guests. I believe you know them already. <laughs> what have I told you? No masks at the dinner table. Take them off. Wait, King, before you do. Hellcaster. Care to take a stab? Sure. Arthur Conan Doyle famously said, once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. In which case, whoever is underneath that mask must have had a connection to Hal and to you, Penelope. But it's not Jason, because he's dead even though his corpse is missing. The one corpse that hasn't been accounted for and who was last seen by the Black Hood. Check. Check. What the hell? Since when does Chick have red hair? I'm guessing since he started working with Penelope, doing her bidding. But this was after he got the gargoyle symbols tattooed on his back. That's why Ethel said the gargoyle king was Jason. Because you called him Jason. Because you dressed him up like Jason. You didn't murder Chick after you chased him through the woods. You... I recognized a kinship in him, and I spared him. He begged for mercy and pledged his life to me in service of my mission. But it wasn't just your mission, was it, Mr. Cooper? Well, maybe not at first. But eventually, you started working with someone else who also had a grudge against Riverdale. In the middle of all that stuff with the Black Hood last year, my dad was having an affair with Penelope. Yes, I did cultivate your father's murderous impulses. It's true to take my revenge on a town that allowed me to be sold as a child bride to the Blossoms. Your parents knew. I told them. And they did nothing but mock me. And years later, when my Jason was murdered in cold blood, do you think one of them reached out to me? No, they were too busy ignoring the rotting, fetid truth that Riverdale is a hideous and cruel place, twisted and cursed. And the Black Hood and I, we were doing quite well. Exterminating its sinners. Until my dad got arrested. Yes, but that was fine because Hal's disciple came to me. Lost. And I gave him purpose to continue our great work. But not as a black hood. So instead, you made him dress up like the boogeyman. The gargoyle king. You introduced G&G &G to our parents 25 years ago. And then reintroduced it this year to Chick. His name is Jason. Who gave it to... Ben Button, who started playing with Dilton Doily. And Ethel Muggs. And then G&G &G spread like a virus or a poison. And the true mastermind behind it all, the true king, was you, Penelope. Well done. Well done. <laughs>